welcome. Thanks for joining us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Colorado Rockies. Ladies and gentlemen, yo. First Colorado pitch coming at you right Rockies. after the break. Man at first with one gone. Steve Rogers steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And every at bat's a big one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. Reeves with a move to first. Jones back in on a dive. Hey, keep swinging that hop back, kid. And first offering is fouled off. Jones leads off first with one away. Reeves checks the runner. Jones back on a dive. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's off the wall. Lead runner holds it third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. And that'll keep his hitting streak alive. He's reaching heights that very few players ever have. Yeah, when you're over the 30 game mark and showing no signs of slowing down, that's when the baseball world starts to get a little excited. This has become the story in the league right now. You start checking off the days until the next benchmark, 40, 44, 56. And as well as he's swinging it, it seems like all those numbers right now, Boog, they are doable. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. going to be a double and it'll score two one run across another scores two runs in on the play and they take a two run lead and he'll reach second with one away sheesh singy that was a laser shot and a good thing we have stack cast to give us the details yeah get out of the way on that one that ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour you talk about one down and next will be the cleanup hitter, Tino Ramirez, fourth on the National Tino. League home run leaderboard. Ramirez. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Out on the oh. off-balance throw. Now batting the designated hitter, Frederick Riz. And up next for Los Angeles, Steve Rogers. The batter. He's a the guy who does it all. Steve With the lack of contact in today's Rogers. game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple now and batting. home run away from the, the cycle catcher. seriously Michael. we're starting with this oh, already Brian. so two down and now the catcher comes up to him michael o'brien doubled his first time up there's a swing and a drive and forget it that'll fire up the dugout his seventh home run of the season it's six four Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. 
Steve Rogers steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Now batting. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. Steve. This guy checks all the boxes Roger. offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Line drive, caught! Frederick Riggs getting ready to hit. The batter, number seven, designated hitter, Frederick Riggs. Bounced out to short. Whips it to Casas, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor now like him, he is looking okay. forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Runner at first with two away. Steve Rogers, the next to hit. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Throw over to first. Martin back in standing. Hey, square one up. One time. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to no. Martin off of first with two away. That one the other way. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around third, the relay throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. One left for L.A. Two on, one out. Next to hit for the Rockies, Frank the Castellano. The for the fourth baseman. time tonight. Frank Castellano. On the ground to first, could be two. Casas to second. Return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. We're through six full. It's the Dodgers seven and the Rockies six. Now at the plate, Andres Reyes. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Andres Reyes. Ground ball could be two. Quick feed to second for one, and he'll be safe at first. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear now down, batting. make the pitch, get the... And now the big-time power threat, Steve Rogers. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And a rope into center field, base hit. Castellano with a relay throw, not in time. He's safe. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So up next, Michael O'Brien. He's already homered in this game. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. On the ground, right side. There for the out. Runner scores from third. The left field, Jason Dominguez. And next for L.A., Jason Dominguez. A switch hitter batting right. Fletcher, drive him in for us. Next no. offering is down low. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he could push a run across. Come on, 
Strike. At the belt and fires. In the air out towards right center. Gentry under it. He's got it. Runner tags for home. The tag safe. It's 9 6. Well, these guys understand how important each run is, especially as you get closer to the end of the ball game. Nice job right there to get that runner in from third and add a little insurance. Next for Colorado, Bill Gentry, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Gentry. Out to short. Whips it to Casas, and they're down to their last out. Now battle, the first baseman, Tino Ramirez. Trailing by four runs can be pretty tough, especially when there's good pitching on the other side. But these guys just kept fighting. They never gave up. And that's why they got back in the ball game and came away with the win in this one. 9-6 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.